Oh, the little bum. You don't want to be on camera? All right, so me and Teresa actually started, well, I started putting down fertilizer, but Teresa graced me with her presence, and boy, oh boy, you know, if you didn't know, uh, being married to somebody whose first language isn't English can be a lot of fun, and you'll find that out later in the video. <laughs> I'd say it's about eight acres personally, but uh, it needs to get, it needs to have the sticker bushes under control, so two, four, a good hefty dose of 2,4-D, and, well that's interesting, how did that end up like that? I wasn't there the other day, you know that? Yeah, it wasn't there the other day. No, it wasn't, somebody put that out there, hopes that I would hit it. We're in hostile territory. Right? Left. Center. So yeah, we gotta get these mugwort and other things under control. And mugwort is very difficult to get under control, but we'll get it under control as best as we can. And then the switchgrass will grow and we will cut the, uh, we gotta cut rows into it to funnel the deer that way so that they can shoot them. And the pheasants will be, they'll release the pheasants within those 10 foot, 8 to 10 foot rows that we're going to leave. So, I've done this before to great success. Uh, the, the hunting club that is here is all about the deer and pheasants. So, we just mowed this hay off of here the other day. Yeah, I can't even call it hay. It's, we mowed the switchgrass. We actually shredded it with a stalk shredder. So, it looks, oh. it looks pretty pathetic. Teresa just loves a rough ass fields, don't you? Don't you? No. You don't? Well, I thought you did. That's why I took you back here. And when we're done with this rough ass field, we're going to go over to that rough ass field. <laughs> and believe me, that rough ass field, that's Irish field, that's something. Ow! Yeah, it'll break your neck. Holy shit, I'm holding on to my life. You have a life? <laughs> Oh, I don't use G 
GPS when I spray, and I probably should. Um, I don't know. I bought the GPS for spraying for my dad when he was spraying with the other sprayer because foam marker is expensive. This stinking gallon of foam is like 80 bucks for foam marker. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, wow is right. It's, it's damned expensive. So, anyway, I decided I could just buy this GPS. I can use it for planting corn and I can use it for spraying and everything. And Dad did use it for spraying for a while. And then he decided that it was too much of a pain in the ass. So he quit using it. Um, I will still use it for corn um, and spreading fertilizer, not spraying. Because you can set it up to that 50 foot spread, spread pattern and uh, get your fertilizer on nice and accurate. And I'm hoping Cody. I hope I haven't overwhelmed him with the projects because, you know, he's got, he's welding the hell out of that stuff and those parts came in today. I think someone double charged me for, they were trying to double charge me for the axles on that sprayer because I paid the bill for the parts the other day, it was $1,800. And it was supposed to be four thousand, seven thousand dollars, but I said I'm not paying seven thousand dollars. Take the axles off. But I got a feeling that somewhere there was a. They said that they were two thousand dollars a piece, which they're nothing but a piece of pipe with an axle welded into it. That's it. That's all they are. Wow. So I think somewhere uh, the Messick's parts woman had screwed up. And, uh, what know, a surprise me. Well, we're, we're all human beings, you know, we do screw up for time, from time to time, but yeah, that just, that was a screw up. Where are we? We're on the left side. Good. Okay. I'm only going slow because Teresa's in there. And she just loves bumps. And I don't have the automatic climate control in this tractor. It's, we're spoiled. We are spoiled. What the hell is wrong with us? Could you imagine if I actually only farmed with 4020s and 5020s, 4320s and 4430s with the broken air conditioners and things? I don't think you would have married me. Hell no. You'd have been like, Wesley, I'm going to work in, uh, I don't know, a brothel somewhere. You wouldn't work in a brothel. Air conditioned. Air conditioned brothel? Sure. You don't know what a brothel is. No. It's a whorehouse. What? <laughs> it's a <Sick>. whorehouse. <laughs> I thought it wasn't even a store or something. Yeah, well, like a is, waffle house or it something. It is a store. The store where you buy pussy. Oh, God. Isn't that terrible? That is terrible. The, the funny thing is, I got you to agree to go work in a brothel. That's terrible. What the heck is wrong with you? I can't believe you missed two windrows right there. Ladies and gentlemen, two windrows missed right there. Right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got evidence now. I'm sorry. Well, I did miss windrows too when we were in North Carolina. We were bailing at night. Yeah, how many did you miss? I don't remember you missing. I missed some windrows before. No, it's just, you know, you make a bit. You'll miss stuff. I wish I could just punch a hole through there and go out to Larry's, but I can't. That's a text on my phone. It was a text on my phone. Alrighty then, Street Rotter. He says, uh, fact, for the amount of money they charge for living in a retirement home, you could live full-time on a cruise ship. That is actually true. I know there are people that have booked, like, eternal cruises because the... Uh, the nursing homes provide less care than what the staff do. Are you stealing the show? Uh, I won't read some of the snide remarks, but uh, I, actu I actually have heard people living on cruise ships, sailing the Caribbean, Russia, up the Russian coast, all this crazy stuff. Nuts. Alaska. They see the world in their golden years for less than what a nursing home charges. So maybe William will learn how to read these as well. Uh, good, vi good time vids, the Zimmermans are good people. I agree with that.
Nicholas Pratt would have been quicker to put a pressure washer over it than scrape it with a spade. Well, actually, no. That's why Ow. I scraped it with the Ow. spade. Daniel Sweeney and a bunch of other people have mentioned uh, Andy Detweiler or the Harmless Farmer, as we know him on YouTube. And uh, I'm just hoping and wishing him uh, a speedy recovery from his ailment. And uh, I like Andy a lot. He's a good guy. Uh, he's a good guy that does not deserve this, but you know what? He's got the right attitude going in, and he will be just fine. I am sure of that. Lee Stadnick, I watch because you are not a paid shill. Love the content. I don't understand why people want to watch 10 to, or 20 minutes of commercial by paid shills. Well, they don't start out that way. Um, I actually was offered a, uh, uh, a, a partnership through uh, Syngenta. Uh, I'm planting Syngenta seed this year, and uh, Syngenta has offered to buy my chemical. Um, but you know what? I, I've already bought my chemical, so I think they're just a little too late unless they want to give me some other incentive. Chemical was very expensive this year. I have uh, just between, well, you don't even want to know what it costs for 200 acres of uh, corn herbicide. And uh, it was, uh, oh, my God. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I get that. That's why I don't do it. I can't eat pens, for heaven's sakes. Okay, uh, Bill Westfall. Westfall. Firm believer that if you tell someone to have a crappy day, anything after that is, is then a good day. Crazy thought, but never let down. Just my take on it. Well, that's called reverse psychology, and... What are you making fish for? Oh, yeah, just destroy the desk. We don't need it. We don't need the microphone, do we? Oh, my goodness. You're just a devil today, aren't you? Ben Schmidt says, Hi, Wes. Would you buy a spreader like that? I actually would, um, but I would get the bigger model. Uh, this one was great and all, but I need bigger. Go big or go home. I would get the biggest model that I could get that would my tractor would handle um i've actually also was looking into an 8640 or an 8650 john deere articulated tractor uh they're slow on the roads but you can put a damn big shit spreader on behind those get them to where you're going and uh, just put the put the material down so if this thing does become a uh a reality that i will be spreading a lot more of this compost um, I'll be buying a uh, walking floor trailer, haul my hay down with a walking floor, drag back a load of compost, park it where I need it, and then purchase a bigger, um, I say a bigger tractor. 8640 is not as powerful as what the 8530 is. Um, yes, and we're talking two, three, gen four generations later, you know, this is an 8530 from the, from like, it's a 2000, what is that, an 09? I think it's an 09. Uh, model uh, versus a uh, 1979 or 89 model year tractors 30 years apart um, they're, they're bigger and they they have the they're they're bigger because they're articulated tractors I don't know that I want to go the articulated route but if I'm going to be spreading this compost I need a tractor that'll float duels like that it'll float and has the uh, traction to pull it and it won't you know just just something like an articulated tractor so yeah i would buy a spreader like that only much larger agri farming ireland do you not have the peckway spreader anymore to spread the lime uh no they actually came and got that um i still have the rake and the hay tether there uh but the lime spreader they took i used it for fertilizer i was going to get a lot of eggshells but that never materialized i could never get a hold of the guy uh to bring them i would have loved to have them but that didn't happen, so, you know, there I am. Um, so, yeah, if I do get eggshells or even a different type of lime, I'm probably going to end up repairing the lime spreader that I have. I actually have a Stoltzfus lime spreader, and I will have Cody do the same treatment to that as he's doing to the... Uh, Oh, to the, uh, the, the, the Newton Crouch spreader. And there's going to be a, a video on that pretty soon. He actually has it as a rolling chassis right now. So anyway, this is it. Have a nice day. I'll see you tomorrow.